Actually, she healed by Mbira Music. The renowned singer and actress popularly known as Mbuya Tela Chueshi was recently laid to rest in a rural homestead in Nekati village under Chief Masembura in Bindura. She was buried in a traditional way without coffin but in a reed mat known as Rukukwe or Rupasa in Shona. At the gravesite, she did not have Christian songs or a pastor to say the final words. It is said it was a wish to be buried without a coffin so as to connect with the ancestors. Here are some of the things that you didn't know about Mbuya Stella Rambisai situation. Number one, all her songs were inspired by the spirit mediums which would visit her in visions and dreams. A case in point is when she played with one of the groups in Europe, Three Mustafas Three, on court. While recording in Berlin, the Mustafas were understandably nervous ahead of their first encounter with the Chueshi. But Chueshi wasn't worried. She had met them before. Yes, it was my first time meeting them physically, she grins. But in my sleep, when I was dreaming, I had played with them for a long time before. When we finally met, it was like flipping a switch. Number two. Music healed her chest disease, which she had endured for two years. Because it was considered a taboo to play mbira as a girl when all the people were discouraged her to learn or teach her the instrument. Her final straw came after another uncle who agreed to teach her mbira instrument. She had a voice telling her to play mbira so that it could heal her chest pain, which stopped immediately after two years. In her own words, she said, I ignored men, I ignored women, I ignored the government, I ignored the church because I wanted to survive. That's how I started to play. Number three, she was also an actress. Stella Chueshe played the role of the first Chimurenga heroine Mpuya Nehanda who was killed by the pioneer column during the colonization of Zimbabwe in the 1890s. This was depicted in a film directed by the late Godwin Mauru called I Am The Future in 1989. Number four, she only released singles, not albums. Despite her popularity, the songstress never released any album, but she only did singles, as all of her songs were inspiration of spirit mediums. Number five, she only had two children with the first husband, Fred Mukwesha, who was the first ever Zimbabwean soccer star to play in Europe for Sporting de Braga. He also passed away in December 2015. Well, that's all from us. We'll see you again in another episode of Amazing Facts.